my, 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 Gemini. It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again. Yes, and damn Didi with the remix. We're going to find out what's going on with you mid-month June. Yes, indeed. The blessings is coming soon. Yes, indeed, Gemini. Let's get into it. Shout out to everyone who has clicked this video. Love, light, and prosperity to you. Shout out to everyone who's clicked this video, my dears. Yes. I got a few announcements, so <clears throat> let me clear my throat, baby. Let me clear my throat. Listen to me. We have all right, y'all know that we just launched the Patreon. We now have Teespring Scorpion Reds apparel. So y'all go and check that out. Um, the apparel that I have up right now is for the morning slide, but I will have Zodiac Tees coming out very soon. So keep your eyes focused on me. Listen, there will be a My 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 Gemini shirt, so I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all better watch it. Watch for me, baby. Watch for me. Listen, if there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Reds several, all you got to do is click that About tab, baby. Click that About tab, all right? What you need to do is book and then link with me. Book and then link, okay? So you'll see the hyperlink, the one on top, the love on top, the one that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Go ahead and click that link okay select the reading that you want if you don't want to get on camera there's an add-on option for a direct upload or even if you are getting on camera for the live video reading if you want a recap of your reading if you want me to record the whole experience and upload it to youtube and give you a private link will you be able to view your session with me forever forever ever forever ever you can go ahead and get that ten dollar add-on it's called um video recap slash private upload and if you do not want to get on camera with me um when you link up with me just let me know hey Rez, i don't want to get on camera can you just do the private upload um i did the add-on here's my question so when you send me your question for your reading make sure that you only send me the information that you want to know don't tell me why you're asking the question okay because i don't want you to say when the energy comes out well i just told you that make sure that when you link up with me either by clicking that instagram link that is directly under the booking link or you can download an app called google hangouts and you Use my email which is in the about tab as well which is scorpionreds at gmail.com scorpionreds at gmail.com so like I said you can link up with me either on Instagram or Google Hangouts send me the message and let me know what you want me to um you know handle in the reading and then we'll go from there and I will record within 24 to 48 hours you will have your upload and you'll be good to go okay um if there is anyone so again book and then link okay book and then link okay so, all of my other links for everything else is directly under that. Shout out to everyone who's been sending love and light to the page. We got this numerology deck, which is fairly new. Shout out to my baby girl, Callie. She also hooked us up with this Zen Tarot deck, which this is brand new. So, I don't think that I've... I think this is my first go around using this deck with anybody. So, that is a brand new deck that um, was sent here as well. Also, shout out to 31 Shadows that they sent over this, which I love, this Healing Light Lenormand deck. I have been studying Lenormand and Cartomancy. Y'all will be seeing me using, um, doing readings with playing cards here soon because those will be my next orders. That's my next thing. That's my next big thing is me studying cardamancy. So you guys, next month, y'all may see me doing readings with play, playing cards because I'm trying to learn that. Um, as well as like studying a little bit more of the numerology. So shout out to everyone that has been sending support and love to the page. Also, shout out to everyone that's been sending a dollar, two or three over to the PayPal because it made it possible for the tea leaf reading that we're about to get because I am putting the tea in y'all's reading, okay? I am putting the tea and y'all's reading, okay? Well, I'm not giving y'all the fortune. The fortune is something that you're going to have to pay for. You want to know what's coming in the future, but I'm just saying, you know. What I'm saying? Go ahead and book that personal reading. If you want to know what's coming. Hold on, what month? If you want to know what's coming up in December, <laughs> if it's going to be a year to remember, bitch, go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and book that reading anyway. Listen, shout out to everybody. I want to say what's up to my baby girl, Amanda. To everybody, it's not, just not off the top of my head. I can't remember. But I know for sure my baby, Amanda, made it possible for this purchase of the um, Love Oracle deck. So thank you guys for all the love, light, and the support. Um, oh, so the Patreon. I have a membership program now. Uh, 
called the collective gatherers okay so for everyone if you remember when i used to do the live readings on youtube we're moving that over to patreon because i want it to be private we're also going to be having a lot more exclusive sexually um explicit readings i have another deck here that was sent as a love gift over to us and as you can see this deck is extremely sexually graphic and i don't want my fucking page shut down so we're taking all of the nudes over to you i mean off for youtube over to patreon and for the people that cannot afford a personal private reading this is an easier way to get quick reads you know in a small amount of group because when we're on you when we were on youtube it was so many people you know so this is an easier way to get 10 to 15 minute quick readings okay quick readings with a monthly membership we have a 199 tier um and then we have a 499 tier okay the 199 tier you guys will be able to connect with me on a private live where you can submit your question and it's one question per live reading okay You'll be able to submit your question and I'll be able to address your question in the reading. Or if you know that you, I'm going on live and you are not going to be able to make the live, you can submit your question earlier and I will read your questions right off the bat, okay? Um, we'll be doing some live call-in chats. The retrograde has hit me a little bit earlier. My shit is breaking. So y'all give me a little bit to get my speaker back. But you guys will be able to call into my conference line and actually chat with me about a lot of the issues and the topics because I have a list of topics here that we have been... That's been coming out in these readings over on Patreon, and I want to discuss it in a private setting, okay, where we can talk and get loud, live, and in color over there. So the four ninety nine dollars tier is for the sexually explicit adult content, okay? Um, I have a daily sexual healing reading on the off weeks. I will be over on Patreon on the off week. So if you guys see it's getting a little bit quiet on YouTube after I put my monthlies out, that's because I'm with my collectors. I'm with my members over on Patreon, okay? And we doing our thug thizzle over there. So um, we do the daily sexual healing healing reading over there we do sex secrets and scandals reading over there honey and on that tier once i get my goddamn speaker back you guys are going to be able to call into the conference line and instead of you guys being able to submit your question or chat with me through the chat in the live you guys will be able to call me and get your reading that way Mm -hmm. and get your quick read so it's all exclusive content it's all exclusive uh stuff for the members and then also as my apparel starts rolling out you guys are going to be the first one that are going to be able to get to see that i'm going to select a few of you guys over there that's in my collectors group that i'm going to be sending some samples out to you guys so you guys are going to be able to see feel and touch what i'm doing because i just appreciate y'all support and you guys will be the first one to experience that and definitely get some free merch as they start rolling out so thank you guys again for all of the love and support all of my links my patreon my um amazon wish list which you guys have been sending me all these amazing decks and stuff from is in the about tag as 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 well as my paypal so again that's it with the house announcements let's get into the reading because i know that's a fucking lot and i'm after this month i am not doing all these goddamn house announcements like this again because hopefully everybody know how to connect with me but we get new people all the time so i'll be having to do that so anyway listen let's get into the reading let's get into the prayer father god thank you so much for all your divine and life for your glory because father they don't know our story my 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 gemini my 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 gemini father god give us guidance into what is going on with my gemini's what my gemini has been up to father god thank you so much for the healing for the revealing for the strength father god thank you so much for us being smart minded and quick witted and knowing how to outsmart our opponents you know what i'm saying and sometimes our opponent could be laying in damn bed with us but you know what i'm saying shit we be figuring out how to outsmart them too father god because we ain't got time for the bullshit Okay, no diggity, no doubt. Okay, <laughs> Father God, please continue to just anoint us with just growth, with growth, and just be able to operate in our knowing and continue to show us and elevate us to where we need to be. Father God, continue to give us blessing, light. Continue to give us happiness. Continue to keep us in prayer, Father God, because um, you know it is every day. 
that we pray is every day that we are performing a miracle for something in the future. So, Father God, give us guidance for my Geminis for me. Uh, June the 15th through the 30th and thank you again for all of the blessings and lessons in the past, present, and future oh my arm, excuse me, in future please give me guidance for my 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 Geminis alright, let's figure out what the spirit number is for my Geminis yes we are reaching for success what's popping, what's popping what's popping what's popping Alright, give me guidance for my, 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 Gemini's. What's that spirit number? What that spirit number? Y'all got two spirit number. Moderation. Oh, you need to put, oh, oh, and surrender. I feel like you need to deal with something, some place, something, a place, person, a thing. You need to handle and you need to deal with something in moderation and you need to surrender. I feel like you need to... Reel it back a little bit. It's something that you're doing too much of. It's like you overindulging in something. And spirit is saying that you need to be rooted. It's it, it's it's something that you need to get grounded in. Like you need to ground yourself in being able to control your urge in regards to something. And something I feel like you're very passionate about. Your heart is very passionate and rooted in a direction. In regards to something. But whatever it is. Too much of it could be your demise. That's what I'm getting. You know. And I feel like you really need to surrender to the fact. That you might be overdosing. On something. We're going to figure out what, what that is. And you need to surrender. I feel like it's something that you're trying to ignore. And you're not trying to give in to. It's like nah I'm going to be okay. Like I know what I'm doing. Like that's some my. Uh, that's somebody that just like out on a coke binge or something man. all your friends is like okay girl like i know we normally have fun on the weekends and shit but bitch you um are taking a little bit on the deep end you like no nah, girl no nah. uh-uh i'm good like i know i know what i'm doing girl <laughs> i know what i'm doing <laughs> girl out there looking like whitney okay <laughs> out there looking like bobby and whitney why i'm fit no i'm sorry i'm i I don't know why that image just came into my mind of someone coke bench. <laughs> oh, it's a very Bobby and Whitney-esque. I'm seeing a Bobby and Whitney-esque, like, fuck a crackhead, crazy-ass relationship. I feel like it's a, it's a toxic relationship that you need to deal with in moderation. And you need to subvert it to the fact that this ain't healthy for you, sweetness. Like, that's honestly what I'm getting. It's very Bobby and Whitney, yes. It is transformation. That is the death card. Your reading is starting out with the death card in reverse. And what spirit is trying to tell you that this thing is ending regardless if you like it or not. So, either you transition with it. I don't know if you know who Kalima is. Kalima. Kalima. Kalima Shakti Day. Bitch, do you want Kali Ma to come and snatch your motherfucker heart out and send you to the gods? Do you know who Kali is? If y'all don't know who the deity Kali is, she's the representative of death. And what Kali is trying to teach people, there are certain things in our life that we have to surrender to. And it's time to transition to certain things to end. Do you understand? Because certain things, if you don't know how to deal with it in moderation, will kill you. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Will kill you. All right? And when we try to hold on to toxic behaviors or toxic things that are literally the formula to our destruction and damnation, it's something like, like Medea said, we be holding on to something that even God is trying to rip for in my hands. And it's like almost you fighting with God. You know what I'm saying? It's like God will show you time after time after time after time. This is not good for you. It's time for this to end. But you just determine. You understand what I'm saying? Because you don't want something to end that is dead, done, and buried. It's settled in the ground. This is someone like keep trying to dig up the dead. And what Kali does, people that are not willing or able, not willing, not able, people that are just fucking hard-headed and, and, and when God keeps giving you opportunities after opportunities, it keeps showing you that it's time for something to end and you keep going against God's will. 
And that's when Kali Ma comes. Kali Ma has a necklace of skulls around her neck. When people are stubborn and do not want to transition on to the next phase of life, she will come and cut your head off and release your soul to go to a new stage in your soul phase in your life. I want that to settle, okay? I want that to settle. And I'm not saying like a spiritual warrior is going to come and cut your head off and release your soul so you can become a butterfly. But it's like you're not learning your lesson here on earth. You understand what I'm saying? You all keep repeating karmic cycles and it's like you're fighting with the gods who are trying to help heal and release you from whatever this negative energy is and you're determined to continue forth to your damnation. So it's like since you want to be stubborn. We're just going to restart. And don't take this so literal. Like it means like literal death. I'm not talking about that. But it means literally. If it's something that you are going against God's will. You're not allowing the cycle to complete and change. God will end it for you. Regardless if you like it or not. And when it happens it's going to be bad. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to be bad. You cannot fight with the Lord when it's something that they're trying to remove from your life that is not good. This moment to moment just came out when I was flipping. And it's the, you're still just dealing with the situation day to day. And you're still trying to juggle like you're juggling. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to balance your life between something that you know is still toxic that you don't want to release. And you're trying to go into this new phase of your life thinking that you can take that with you. And just day by day, you just going to see how it's going to work. It don't work like that. Kali Ma is coming to get you. Do you understand? And she's going to ask you one more time. Are you ready to release this? So you don't have to walk on eggshells not knowing which way your path is being directed. Because you're in your way. This is someone who is in their way. Who's in their own way. The lovers in reverse. There's the Gemini card. But this is representing false love. This is representing an unrequited love. This is representing lovers. This is representing affairs. This is representing cheating. This is representing adultery. Broken hearts. Broken promises. Broken wishes. So I feel like it's a love situation that you're just still holding on to it for dear life. And you're just juggling this day by day to see what happens. But it's like <laughs> harmony. It, you, you're still trying to find harmony there because you must live with this person. This represents the Ten of Cups to me. You have a family environment with this person. It's just someone that you have children with. Y'all live with each other. And it, it's like regardless of what is being, what is being slowing down. It's like you're not trying to slow down. It's like you're, you're pressing the gas on this and you're not coming to any point of understanding. It's like you're almost, you, it's like you almost want God to show you his power. It's like you're almost testing God like, I heard you tell me, you know, to let this shit go and this, this and that. And you said that all this shit bad stuff is going to happen to me, but I don't think you're that powerful. I don't believe you. <laughs> and God is like, oh, really now? Oh, really? You really think that I won't come down here and fuck this shit up and show you who the fuck I am? You really going to keep playing with me like this? I show you every day that this is not good for you. I give you chance after chance every day. But yet you still trying to find harmony in something that I tried to tell you to deal with the moderation. But you see, you're not. It's like you trying to drown the ten of the ten of the ten of cups. It's like you got to understand tens represent endings, too. Tens represent endings, too. So. It's kind of tricky sometimes when you see that Ten of Cups because, yeah, it, it can mean complete emotional fulfillment and harmony. But at the same time, it that you can't forget that Ten represents completions, closings of cycles, death. That's like death. You know, that's another sign of death, the completion of a chapter. Whatever harmony, whatever peace, whatever serenity that you were going to experience out of that situation, you've reached the plateau. After the 10 becomes the zero, the fool being able to move back on blind faith and start your journey all over again. So this is this is this is showing a, showing a completion of a cycle. 
But it's like I'm just going day to day. Even though I know this person is cheating on me and I'm cheating on them. I'm just still going to come home and close my eyes and fake like I see peace here. Like I don't see ending. Like I don't hear the gods telling me you better stop trying to dig this up. This is someone keep trying to dig, dig a dead situation up. This is what 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 are the people that have sex with dead with dead corpse? Like yeah, like and it's like you're not trying to slow down regardless what God trying to say, you're not slowing down, you're not heating it wanting, and you're not understanding anything. It's like you almost think I'm playing. I can only imagine what type of affections you can have trying to have sex with a dead corpse. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> And that's what they're like, listen, you need to surrender to the fact that what you're doing is harmful to you and it's quite disgusting. Now, I don't understand why you like this, but you need to deal with it in moderation because you keep going down there digging a dead corpse trying to ride on top of a dead cocky, honey. I can only imagine you're going to get infections up there, girl. You might not want to keep doing that. Stop doing that. <laughs> you don't want to stop doing that. You're like, oh no, I like this dead dick. This dead dick is so stiff. <laughs> Bitch, you sick in the head. <laughs> I'm sorry, like this shit is just the images that are being flashed in front of my head in the name of Jesus. What is this? The clouds. Your head is completely in the clouds. Like, it's like you are in love. You are in love with hell. You in love to hell. Give me additional guidance. The ring. The gentleman. And the store. Oh. Because she's like, I'm in love. I'm in the clouds. I expect marriage from this gentleman. And we have children. We have a family. I'm in love. I want marriage. I want this man. I want a baby. Or we have a baby. Okay? So it's just like, I'm not ending shit. I am going to get marriage out of this situation. I am going to get commitment. I am not taking my foot off the gas. These motherfuckers are going to surrender to me. <laughs> there will be no moderation. I am going forward. Like, it's like... <laughs> and someone is like expecting a baby or have a pregnant or just had a baby or y'all just... Or, or y'all eat something. Something. Something with that stalk right there. Occupation. You guys might work together. Jesus, this is a lot. Uh-uh. Gemini, you doing too much now. You doing too much now. You doing too much talking. Too much talking. What the fuck? Like, come, come on. Really? This? And, come on. Okay, so y'all work together. You feel like the privileged lady. Because y'all are lovers. And you're determined to see change. Because... You've took this pathway with this person. And this is a journey... Let me turn this up right. It looks like this journey led you to an imprisonment. <gasps> so you met this person at work. Or, I mean, because it says occupation. So occupation. I'm assuming you met this person at work, right? And for some reason, this person made you feel like the lady because y'all were lovers. And you felt like you were the chosen one. You were the privileged lady. And for some reason, you felt like with this person that you were going to invoke change. Because your love is just that divine. Right? Right. And my sarcasm is because, like, please don't forget what's up here. The lovers is in reverse. So someone is cheating. Someone is not being faithful. This love is an unrequited love. Okay? It's an unrequited love. And don't forget lovers mean lovers. Y'all started out as lovers. You met this person ever at work or you work with this person or you're this person's boss or this person works for you. And I'm saying that because the privileged lady. So I'm taking this like you feel like you had a level of privilege or stature. And this was one of your lovers. And I feel like you felt that there was a new journey along this path where you see butterflies. And you just felt like, even though the fact that y'all were just lovers, you felt like you could change this person. And particularly, you might have let this person move in with you. Because it looks like 
this person packed up bags and moved. You know what I'm saying? So you guys changed from being lovers to something different. You guys went on a pathway to a new beginning. And you guys experienced a wild journey. I mean, because he definitely, whoever this person is or whoever this woman is, whoever this person is, ended something with someone else, it looks like, to come to you. Because the nine represents cycles, you know, being political, you know. So I feel like this person had to politic to make this change because y'all just started off as lovers. And you needed this person to follow your path. Because this person wasn't already on his path. This person had to go from a 9 to a 10 and completely end something before they could move to you. But then you see the imprisonment. You see the imprisonment. But what's going on with this imprisonment? Thoughts. Toil and labor. The gift. So, I feel like somebody, y'all started off as lovers. I feel like you convinced this person or whoever this person is that you're dealing with convinced you to close a chapter, to change and to pack up everything and to follow their path to them, to their home, to take the journey to them. It's like to lock them in. It's like once you got them there, it's like they locked, like you're stuck there. This person is stuck there. Like this person... Whoever it was that moved, they did not realize that when they moved, they were getting locked into imprisonment. Like, imprisonment. Imprisonment. But for some reason, someone is having thoughts. I don't know if this is the person doing this to the Gemini or if Gemini did this to this person. But whoever was the person that moved there had no idea that they were going to be imprisoned. If they can't get away. And now whoever this person is that did this imprisonment, that locked this person in, that lured this person and locked this person in, now they're having thoughts because I feel like they are now realizing that this person is a little bit more work than what they bargained for. You understand what I'm saying? Like you ever go and capture uh, like a wild animal or something like that because you thought it was pretty or whatever but then because you thought oh this is a gift you know what I'm saying like this is my gift awesome right but then when you get it home and you realize well damn I gotta bathe it I gotta feed it shit I gotta get insurance for it I got like it's too much work to keep this motherfucker like shit I'm thinking about releasing this motherfucker and let it go because it's too much I'm about to let this motherfucker go on back home the way because like no this shit is too much work I feel like whatever but you've already received a gift from this from this person so I don't think I don't think that you could just any gift might be the child. You see the stork right there. And your whole motive was marriage. Because you you seen the stars, the, the you know what I'm saying? You were lost in the clouds. OK, so let's go a little di bit deeper, a little bit further to see what this is saying. What are you saying to me? What is you saying to me? I don't know what the fuck's been going on with Gemini, but y'all been having some wild ass readings here lately. I don't know who energy I've been picking up on, but good gracious. And if this does not, whatever this shit is, if it does not resonate with you, please do not go down in my comments and say, this is not me. I didn't, I wasn't. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. Please do not waste your energy. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> I might pick up on your energy next week. It's fine. It's fine. But not everything is going to resonate. Y'all might be able to get little bits and pieces of information that helps you with your situation but the extremity to the situation that I am feeling because we ain't even put out all of the cards yet but I'm I'm seeing where this is going so if this is not your situation please don't try to make it your situation or feel like you need to tell me this is not your situation 
the high priestess. The wheel of fortune. Oh, shit. Why is y'all trying to be doing all of this communication today? I understand the Gemini is the sign of communication, but honey, come on now. I am not taking all of that. I am telling you this right now. I am sorry. No, I will not be doing that today. I surely won't. Okay. So, the high priestess, Gemini is hiding something. Gemini is hiding something. It's some type of secret here that they feel like if people find out would we'll bring some level of misfortune. And there's something that they're hiding is the reason why the, there's a turn of unfortunate events going on in their life right now. And Gemini knows exactly what the fuck it is. Okay? Gemini knows exactly what it is. I feel like there's been some type of force control of energy here. You know? And I really don't even like be talking about magic and shit like that. But I would not be surprised if... Um, and, and I don't even necessarily... I don't even think this person is that powerful to even try to pull off no motherfucking magic or nothing. Like, I'm dead ass serious about it. It's just this person's intentions. This person is manipulative. This person has done something and whatever they did to try even if they did to try to do some magic on someone and try to um imprison because i'm seeing this imprisonment whatever the fuck they did is backfiring on them big time and is bringing them a big fight of misfortune the will of fortune is turning in reverse okay that nine of pentacles that you once had here looks like you are seeking to figure out what happened to it. I feel like someone might have stole some of y'all's money. And you think it's this king of spears. Which is also the king of wands. That big dick king of wands. The dick slayer. Mm -hmm. The king slayer. The dick slayer. Even though that's not the king slayer. That's a uh, that's, um, whole ass goddamn. Uh, What's up, uh, John Snow and them father? He was a good man, Savannah, in the name. <laughs> I was fucking down deep and say he was a good man, Savannah. He was a good man, but he also went off the wall and bought a whole bastard baby home to his motherfucking wife, though, didn't he? Didn't you, bitch? Didn't you? Uh huh. So is it possible? Is it possible? And I am thinking, not I'm thinking. I didn't just say that for no reason. I ain't said that no reason. High Priestess. You've been hiding some secrets. You've been hiding some secrets. That you know. Has caused the bout of misfortune in your life. Because you were doing things to manipulate someone's free will and their energy. You tried to lure someone and keep them trapped in prison. And yeah. You were single. You were financially good and you had a lot of money but that money is now missing is it not yeah somebody's money is missing and you're wondering what caused you this misfortune this knight of spirit i mean this king of spirits did this king of wands did uh-huh because just like i told you mr stark he was a good man savannah in the words of Funky Dineva. But he was a good man to a lot of motherfucking bitches. Because he damn sure went off and had a baby with someone else. That he tried to bring home for his wife to take care of. Like yeah I had this baby while I was off at war here. You raise it. <laughs> okay. That ain't funny. Because I don't know what the fuck they was doing back in Elizabethan time. Bitch you would have came to me like that. I would have cut your head off or put it on a spike myself. What? Treason. Y'all can come and lock me up. Shit. Throw me in the dungeon. Fuck you, me. I'm gonna have a baby on me. I'm gonna try to bring a bastard child home to me. Bitch, give me the tea. What's the tea going on with the Gemini? Things will not always be this way. Change is coming. The caterpillar. Looks like someone is growing. The bow. You are highly thought of. All right. Come on. What's the T? Mountain. There are major challenges that you are going to have to come over with this mountain. What is this? The skull. 
hidden secrets can harm you. I told you Gemini was hiding something. If you are not the Gemini hiding something, do not, I am repeating, do not go in my comments and say, this is not me. This video doesn't resonate. I am going to block you. There is some Gemini. And this is not reversed. There is a Gemini. Someone that is a cross watcher is dealing with a Gemini and this resonates with. Trust me. There is a Gemini that is hiding some secrets that started this wheel of misfortune for them. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they're going through some shit right now. They are going through some changes, but things are not going to always be this way. You are highly thought of by spirit, but you're going to have to overcome these major challenges and you're going to have to come out with it. What is it saying? Again, hills, obstacle to undercome, overcome. You got mountains and hills to overcome because it is secret. It's something that you are hiding, beloved. And whatever you are hiding can harm you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So do not come down in my comments. This is not me. Please keep those comments in your head. Because this resonates with someone. Hey, all the fucking mountains again. You are on the road to success. Victory in some endeavor. In regards to a dealing or a relationship with a man. The shark. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. I honestly feel like this this is not good still. I feel I feel like your your journey to go on this 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 this, this journey with this person and trying to seek victory in his success with this man. I feel like this man is the one that stole your money. Your determination to go up this mountain hill to see victory by any means necessary. To, to see success and victory with this man was what it says, take care or there will be material loss. You were dealing with a shark in the water. This is the person that stole your money. You can't tell me nothing otherwise. But you're hiding a secret and you think that this man don't know that. Yes, this man knows. Give me guidance about this hidden secret, please. Bird perch. Waiting for news, a package, or this letter. What the heck is going on? Yes, Dad. Are you doing a yeah, I'm recording. I'll be down in a few minutes. All right. All right. All right. Purge bird. Waiting for news, a package, or a letter. Vase. From a secret admirer. Oh, there's a secret admirer. And you're waiting for some type of news or some type of results or something like that. Bird flying. The news is on the way. Staff. You will be taken care of in difficult times. Nest. Oh, this has something to do with a bird perched, a bird flying, guarantee success. I feel like y'all waiting some type for some type of news or results or something in regards to this nest egg. An emotionally secure and loving family is supporting to you. I, I, I got test results, pale time to get out of a situation I feel like you guys are being a perch bird and y'all are you guys are waiting for some type of results or some type of news or results a package a letter like y'all are waiting for some type of news you have a secret admirer that you're dealing with that might be the secret in bird flying in a bird flying like you will be taken care of in this difficult time time to get out of the situation I feel like that there is someone waiting for some type of news I feel like there's someone waiting on some type of news I'm hearing paternity I feel like there's some type of news ever because nest eggs these are eggs right what come out of eggs babies right okay so I feel like someone is Sitting waiting. 
They have a secret admirer. And they're flying towards the secret admirer. But they want to make sure before they fly that way. They're waiting for some news. Because they want to make sure that they're going to be taken care of. Regardless of what they do. Because their nest egg has to be secured. And they feel like they are going to see guaranteed success out of this situation. Do you understand what I'm saying? You guys are waiting for some type of test results. Some type of judgment or something. Someone stole your money. It says that everything ain't going to be like this forever and that you were highly thought of. You better deal with these secrets. Because you think these secrets is only in your mind. They ain't. And I know what your secret is. I know what your secret is. I ain't telling. Because it ain't for me. Look. Pimping is to be sold. Not told, bitch. Y'all want to know? <laughs> hook me up with a poor... Hook, hook yourself up with... Talking about hook me up. Shit, I already know. Hook yourself up with a personal reading. Because I'm trying to tell y'all, this shit right here, I mean, y'all should be able to read into what's already on the table. I really shouldn't be able, I shouldn't have to, like, <laughs> sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find in internal bliss. Like, sexual union this was a sexual union this was a union based off of pure just sex it wasn't a soul connection i told y'all it was an unrequited love it says when you pass from this world you take nothing with you but your soul and your memories that you have shared with those that love you and the reason why i'm trying to tell you that because whoever this gym gym lord I can't even say Gemini. Whoever this Gemini is, I feel like there's a level of obsession. And I'm surprised that the devil card hasn't come out. Because there is a level of obsession and possession. They want to possess this person. They want to lock this person in. You know? They want to lock this person in. And you can't possess anything. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and your memories. So remember, when you transition, you better make sure that you don't got no blood on your hands. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because playing and manipulating with people's free will to move and do what they want to do. If someone don't want to be with you, baby, you cannot force no fucking body to be with you. Because the energy I'm, I'm, I'm having up here is like, because it's saying you ain't slowing down in this shit. Like, you don't, regardless, it's like you still want to do what you want to do. And you don't give a fuck about understanding what nobody's saying. You love this person. You're going to make this motherfucker marry you because y'all have a child or something. I don't know if someone tried to trap somebody with a child because that's what it's looking like. I'm going to be one fucking 100%. And like I said, if this don't resonate, it don't resonate, my nigga. If it don't resonate, I'm happy it don't resonate. Because whoever this is resonating for, like, you ill as shit. It's like win or lose. You is willing to sacrifice yourself. Win or lose. And I feel like you guys are regretting that shit. Now, this motherfucker done stole your money and everything. Win or lose. And it's like, you, you, you deter, solar plexis, you better figure out what the fuck you about to do. You better figure, you better get creative. You better figure out what the fuck it is that you about to do. You need to get yourself balanced because someone with this type of mentality, it's like, listen, you need to calm down this shit that you're doing. You need to slow down. It's like, I don't want to slow down. I don't want to deal with this in moderation. Win, lose, or draw, I want to do what the fuck I want to do. I am not stopping. I'm, I'm going to lock this motherfucker in. This motherfucker's going to be with me. <laughs> like, that is the energy here. What is it saying? Not wanting to release. Not wanting to release. But look at what's happening to you now from you not doing this shit. This motherfucker done stole your money. Helpless and hopeless. It's a deep feeling of just 
being helpless and hopeless. And it's like you're trying to overcome that shit. But you, you, you would determine win, lose, or draw. Like, you were willing to fight to the death for something. You ain't want to release it, right? You don't want to release it. It's crazy. Give me guidance. Give me guidance for my Gemini's and then we going to do more, two more sprays and then we about. Give me guidance. What time is it? Clarify this spread for um, Gemini. Win or lose. The sun illumination. Yeah, you guys just had a baby. I've, this month, you guys are going to um, give birth to a child. What's today? Possibly on the 19th. That's tomorrow. What is this? The Seven of Cups. Yeah, like I told you, y'all was living in a motherfucking fantasy world and y'all keep making the same wrong decisions. What is this? The King of Pentacles. Ain't this motherfucker broken shit? There's no stability there. <laughs> Look, the divine masculine in reverse, the emperor in reverse. This man is not even responsible. This man doesn't even want to be a family man with you. Like, this man does not want to be a part of this family. This person does not. Listen, there is no financial. This person is not helping you financially. This person stole your money. You understand? But yet you keep going back to this person. Why? Because, like, what? What? I mean, because y'all have a child? You gonna force, you gonna imprison this person. Cause it's been illuminated to you. What's being illuminated to you right now? I'm telling you what's being illuminated to you. You need to grow up. You just had a child. Do you understand what I'm saying? You need to find happiness within yourself. You don't got time to be fighting with this shit, win, lose, or draw. You need to make your mind up about that. You need to figure out what you need to do and release this shit. Why are you not releasing something like this? You don't have time to be down on your knees feeling helpful, feeling helpless and hopeful. You don't got time for none of this to be on the table. These are not the cards that should be on your table right now. Stop being subjected to false illusion and fantasies and make believe. You cannot make nobody love you. You cannot make nobody be a man that they don't want to be. This man is not responsible. Why you wanted to have a baby with someone like this? I don't know. They told you in moderation. You didn't want to listen. So now you're going to have to deal with this irresponsible. You're going to be. you talking about single mother. Honey. This man ain't got a pot to piss in. Or window to throw him out of. Even if this person does work. They're not giving no money to you. They're not helping you take care of the baby. This motherfucker going to be somewhere else having other babies. Looking for stability elsewhere. Because this is a man that looks for stability. That's probably why they stole your money. This person was looking for a financial handout. You understand? What is this? The fucking moon. All the secrets about everything that's going on is coming out. It's coming out. And this is the thing that you feared the most. Your fears are actually facing reality right now you're going to have to face all of those dark secrets that you've been trying to hide they're going to come out they're coming out it ain't no way to hide that shit it's ever you i told y'all last 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 video it's you and your and the person that you're dealing with y'all both got secrets y'all nightmares are going to come true in the walking flesh just wait just wait just wait Listen, I feel like it was illuminated to you that you made a bad choice, that you picked a man that was broken, that was unstable, and clearly you see baby feet right here that you just had a baby with, right? You realize that this motherfucker is unstable, and you swore up and down this is your divine masculine, and this is not, this motherfucker is not mature, he is not a protector, he is not a provider, you don't even feel protected by this motherfucker. But you wanted this shit so bad. You wanted to lock and imprison this motherfucker in, in here. And now the illusion is being washed away. You realizing that you 
created a fucking nightmare. And here's that nine of pentacles that this nigga stole your fucking money. And now you don't even have no more money. And now you're trying to figure out how the fuck you about to take care of this child with an irresponsible motherfucker that's not about to help you with shit. And this motherfucker stole your money. What is this? The four pinnacles. I just told you this motherfucker stole, emptied your whole fucking bank account. Bitch, I can't even believe this shit. You ain't want to listen. You didn't want to surrender and take this shit in moderate. You did not want to listen. You wanted it so fucking bad. So bad. You don't want to end it. They ain't God trying to remove this shit from your life. No, you keep going back and going back, digging a dead, something dead up out of the grave, trying to ride on it. Listen, you done infected your, you done infected and infested your whole fucking orifice. You got dirt and fucking shit and, and I'm sorry to make it sound like that. This is a dirty, nasty situation. When someone get a, a vaginal infection, who feel that? Don't, the man don't feel that. He don't feel that uncomfortable. But you uncomfortable right now. This man gave you an infection. A sexual union. This relationship was based on a sexual union. And you try to possess something. That belonged to the world. That man didn't belong to you. That man belonged to the world. This man came to you with lovers. And you thought that you were going to change this man. And that this man was going to give you the ring. <laughs> I swear, I don't know what the fuck been going on with Gemini's readings, bruh. Y'all readings been wild and shit, mo. Like, God damn. You wanted that gift so motherfucking bad. You can't give it back now. Ivy, cling it. You still clinging to this situation. You still you like you clinging. I told you. I fucking t tidal wave. I t didn't I tell you God was about to come through and shake right on rock your hard headed ass. You don't listen. You don't listen to me. Motherfuckers don't ever want spider. I told didn't I tell you. This was a whole fucking wet. This, whoever is the cross watcher, especially if y'all just had a baby by Gemini, this bitch motherfucker trapped you with a baby. To, this bitch trapped you with a baby. Huh? Bridge. Because I ain't want you to go nowhere. This man is leaving anyway, and this man is leaving you with a financial responsibility of a baby, and he just robbed you penniless blind with a baby that he don't give a fuck about. And But yet there's some secrets going on with you. And that's the other reason why this motherfucker robbed you because this motherfucker just got you for everything that you got because you think that this person don't know. Don't know that, number one, you tried to trap them. Here it is, eggs. You tried to trap them with a baby. You tried to trap them with a baby thinking that they will always come back and reconcile with you because of this baby. This motherfucker don't give a fuck about this baby, Mo. I'm trying to tell you. This man is not... A stable person. This is not a good father. Not a good father. But you wanted this this person. What is this saying? You are a magical creator. Your thoughts are beginning to manifestations. You created this. You manifested this. All glitter ain't gold. All glitter is not gold. But you chose. And you kept. What it say? Where it's at? You kept wanting, you wanted it, win, lose, or draw. So now you stuck with a man that don't want you, a man that got a baby that he don't want to be around, and you're going to be left abandoned with a child to raise on your own after someone just took you for all of the money. You thought that you was trapping him, but this motherfucker shook you. This person seen you for exactly what you were. Oh, what tangle webs we weave. And I told you at the beginning of this spread before any of this shit came out. I told you. You better listen to reason when God is trying to make changes in your life and trying to tell you. It's like almost you spitting in God's face like, I dare you. Oh, yeah. Keep clinging. 
Y'all don't listen to me. Y'all don't listen to me. All right? But guess what? Everything is coming out. By the end of this month, I guarantee, win, lose, or draw, you want it at all, you going to get all the karma that come with it. So I hope, I hope that you liked what you asked for because you prayed for this, you manifested this, you wanted it so bad. Be careful what you ask for.